The Year We Learned to Fly, written by Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. The Year We Learned to Fly. That was the year we learned to fly. That was a spring when the rain seemed like it would never stop and the thunder boomed so hard we weren't allowed to go outside. Use those beautiful, brilliant minds of yours, my grandmother said. Lift your arms, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and believe in a thing. Somebody somewhere at some point was just as bored as you are now. So my brother and I closed our eyes. And for a few moments that first day, we weren't stuck in our apartment anymore. We were flying over the city we'd known our whole life, but it was suddenly different, exploding with every kind of flower we'd ever dreamed of growing. That was the summer we learned to fly. My brother and I couldn't stop fussing with each other over whose turn it was to wash the windows, to feed the dog, or to clean the kitchen. We fought and frowned and made silent promises to never speak to each other again. They didn't last very long. My grandmother said, lift your arms, close your eyes, and take a deep breath. <sighs> and stop being so mean about everything. Somebody somewhere at some point was just as mad as you are now. And so we did. And as the soft wind took us over the city and past the windows of kids who hadn't learned to fly yet, my brother and I reached for each other's hands flying and diving and laughing and leaving all of our mad far behind us. That was the autumn. Our rooms felt too big and lonely with only us in them and the darkness coming on so fast. But while we hugged ourselves against the too quiet of it all, we remembered that we didn't have to be stuck anywhere anymore. My grandmother had learned to fly from the people who came before. They were aunts and uncles and cousins who were brought here on huge ships, their wrists and ankles cuffed in iron. But my grandmother said, nobody can ever cuff your beautiful, brilliant mind. So our people learned to fly, she said. They dreamed a thing and made it happen. They closed their eyes and flew away home. Lift your arms, my grandmother said. Close your eyes and remember, somebody somewhere at some point had to figure out they could fly. That winter, we moved away from the building and the block and the friends we'd always known. To a street where the kids looked at us funny and didn't even answer when we asked them if they wanted to play. It's okay, I said to my brother. Somebody somewhere at some point had to figure out they were ready for any new thing coming their way. So like the people that came before us, we lifted our arms even higher and closed our eyes even tighter and breathed even deeper <sighs> and flew the way we'd known how to, free as the aunties and uncles and cousins who'd come before us, free as our own beautiful, and brilliant minds. For a long time, the kids on the ground watched us. Then one by one, they lifted their arms. And one by one, they learned to fly too. This is a note from the author, Jacqueline Whitson. I hope you take a moment to read it and learn about the book that inspired this one, The People Could Fly. American Black Folk Tales. You can find a read aloud of that book on this channel as well. It is an awesome book and you really do learn what it means to fly. The end.